Late last month, Simply Safe sent us a kit with a bunch of brand new stuff. Inside were the usual suspects like the base station, a keypad, and contact sensors. But it also included new and improved stuff like this new motion sensor, a smoke and carbon monoxide detector, and... Oh, this is a new camera. Oh, what? Today, I've got it all installed and running. So I'll show you how to set up a Simply Safe home security system, including these new components. It's working. And if you wanna learn more about us or this brand, check out the links below to see our latest review on the newest camera and the system as a whole. I'm planning on an updated Simply Safe review for the end of this month, so be sure to subscribe to catch that. All right, let's jump in. This is the base station, and it's probably the most important part of the whole system. It's kind of like the command center for all of your sensors. So it's important to take your time and install this part right, because it lays the groundwork for everything else. To set up your base station, start in the Simply Safe app and find Set Up New System in the side menu. This kicks off the whole installation process. Overall, the app will walk you through most of this, so let it be your guide. Once you start set up, the app will ask you to name your property. I went with Katie's house. Next, pull the little battery tab from the base station and plug it in. Be sure to choose a central spot in your home for this hub. It'll need a strong wireless connection and needs to be audible from anywhere in the house in case of an emergency. Next, the app will prompt you to scan the QR code or type in the serial number at the bottom of the base station. Then it will start connecting to the app. You'll know it worked when the light glows blue. Then it's on to selecting your home Wi-Fi network. Simply Safe only works with 2.4 gigahertz band networks, so make sure that's the type of Wi-Fi you're using. It took around 90 seconds for mine to make that connection. Then the app will ask you to create a master pin. This is what you'll use to arm and disarm the system on the keypad. You'll also pick a code word that helps the monitoring professionals confirm that it's you when the alarm needs to be canceled. Finally, my base station had a firmware update, which took a couple of minutes. So sit tight, empty the dishwasher, pet your dog, just hang tight while that finishes and you're ready for the next steps. Once the base station is up, Simply Safe will move on to professional monitoring. If you got Simply Safe because you wanted to self monitor or you just aren't interested in monitoring, it might be hard to skip this step and this might feel like a roadblock. There's really no way around this prompt if you want to start adding your sensors, at least not that I found. But pro monitoring is a key ingredient in home security and the reason many people get it in the first place. Having those extra eyes on your home and system gives you the space to enjoy what you have without worrying. Plus, Simply Safe's newest feature, LiveGuard, allows those monitoring professionals to work through your smart alarm camera to tell intruders to buzz off. There is good news for folks who would prefer to self-monitor though. Simply Safe lets you use that monitoring for an initial 30-day trial when you set up your system. So if you go ahead and sign up for it, set a reminder to cancel. You still get a month of free monitoring. And who knows, you might actually like it better. I went with the Fast Protect option, which lands around $30 a month and includes video verification and that live guard feature. Once you've added that personal info, Simply Safe will send you texts confirming that everything went through and it gives you a chance to save their monitoring center's numbers for any emergencies. Once your base station and professional monitoring are connected, you're ready to add the rest of your Simply Safe devices. Simply Safe systems can be customized, so your system might look a little different from mine. Here's what I got in my kit a base station, three contact sensors, a motion sensor, a keypad, a smoke and carbon monoxide detector, and a smart alarm indoor camera. Except for that base station, all of these devices follow the same simple steps for installing. Just pull out the battery tab, press the activation button, then find a home for them. That last step may differ a little bit between sensors. The smoke alarm, for example, required me to drill holes in the wall and mount the bracket, but it was a pretty simple process overall. Thankfully, you can install these in any order, but I'll walk you through each of the devices I have. Contact sensors, entry sensors, door and window sensors, they go by many names, but they have one job 
to tell you when something opens and closes. I had three sensors in my kit, so two went on our doors and a third went on a window. But really, these gadgets can work on anything that opens and closes. They use magnets to complete a circuit on the inside. When that circuit breaks and the system is armed, the alarm triggers. So let's install this puppy. Start in the app with the devices menu and select entry in the top left corner. That will get the prompt started in the app and tell your base station to get ready. Pull out the battery tab from the back of the device and press the setup button at the top of the larger piece of the sensor. Now it's ready to find a new home. These sensors have an adhesive backing that allow you to just stick them directly onto your doors or windows. Or you can use the screws for a more permanent solution. The app suggests cleaning whatever surface you're placing your sensor on before you stick it on that surface. You should also keep these pieces within two inches of each other. Some doors are more recessed and have a deeper frame, so this might take some troubleshooting depending on your home. Once it's in place, name your device with the location, front door, basement, wherever you end up putting it. That way your system will tell you that your sensor is triggered when the front door opens, for example. Finish that in the app and Simply Safe will confirm that the sensor's been installed. This is the Simply Safe Gen 2 motion sensor. It's designed to reduce false alarms, especially if you've got pets over 50 pounds who roam the house when you're away. Installing this little guy is really similar to the entry sensor. Just like the last device, pull out the battery tab from the back. Press the setup button and wait for the app to respond. The curved surface on the back of the sensor allows you to tuck it into high corners of your home. I placed mine in the divider between our kitchen and the living room. It'll catch motion coming out of our bedrooms or into the house coming from the front door. Once it's in place, the app will confirm that it's been installed and you can move on to the next step. The Simply Safe keypad kind of looks like those T9 calculators we used in middle school, only way simpler. It has its main numerical keypad and two buttons on the side of the screen. You can use it to arm and disarm your system or add pins for other family members. To install it, pull the battery tab and wait for the app to react. If nothing happens, use those side buttons to activate it and wait. The keypad can clip onto the back of a surface or directly to the wall with its adhesive. Finally. Name the device according to where you placed it. Then the app will confirm that it's successfully connected and you're ready for the next sensor. This is the new smoke and carbon monoxide detector from Simply Safe. I was a little nervous about installing this because it does require a little drilling on my part, but it was pretty easy. Just like the others, pull out the battery tab and press the button on the front of the device. Twist off the mounting bracket on the back. This is what you'll be fixing to the wall or your ceiling. I took the bracket and placed it in our kitchen above the stairs. I marked the slats in the back, then drilled holes for the screws to fix it in place. Once that bracket's secure, just twist on the smoke detector and it's done. The app will confirm when your installation's successful. Now it's time for the really exciting part, the new Smart Alarm indoor camera. This little guy can sit on a flat surface or be mounted to the wall with the hardware that comes with it. It works with video verification and 24 seven live guard, which allows monitoring pros to speak through the camera. Before you start installing, Simply Safe gives you a short checklist. And this is especially important if you plan on putting this camera on a wall. The Smart Alarm camera can work wired or on a battery, so be sure that it's charged before letting it off leash. Once it's got juice, press and release the setup button on the top of the camera and watch for the flashing light. Then the app will ask you to press the button again. Listen for camera added and check the app for live streaming. I'll be testing this camera more for our upcoming review of the system, so be sure to subscribe to catch that. From what I could tell so far, this camera has a pretty wide field of view and everything looks clear. I especially like its privacy shutter that stays closed when you're home. If you have any other sensors or devices for your system, pair them in the app like all the others. Once you're finished, select done installing at the bottom of the screen and confirm that you're done. Simply Safe will automatically put your system in a practice mode and has a short checklist of ways for you to test your system. Okay, my system's set to away. This is the first time I'm arming it. I'm gonna see how it goes. Join me. Let me 
enter pin. It worked. Now that your Simply Safe system is up and running, you'll have a few days to get into the routine with it while it's on practice mode. I'll have a longer review coming up soon, so be sure to catch that here on our channel. If you want to learn more about us or Simply Safe, check out our reviews in the description below. Thanks for watching and stay safe.